Sherry. How are you? I'm great, LaVon. How are you? Good. It's so good to see you. And good to see you, too. <laughs> well, I love this. So Terry and I agreed to uh, exchange canvases. And, you know, Terry, um, it's just beautiful. And, you know, oh, I'm out you. of my comfort zone with painting on canvas. So, <laughs> but. But I love what you did. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> So we agreed to uh, exchange canvases and then um, paint a piece of furniture inspired by the canvas. Yes, I'm so excited. I absolutely love, I love the whole scene, but I love the colors that you chose here. And I'm very excited to uh, get started and very inspired by it to get started on, on my piece. I'm going to do a couple of... Uh, nightstands made from like an old vanity uh, oh, and I'm, cool. I'm excited yeah well I'm doing a vanity so that will <laughs> also be cool too so <laughs> that's funny Great I think, think a lot. yeah yeah we got it going on <laughs> So we don't typically do furniture tutorials on Thursday nights. We talk more about the design business. So this is something that's been pretty exciting lately in my business, as you know, uh, because you're watching. <laughs> um, the YouTube channel is an important part of my business and doing collaborations is really helping my channel grow. So this collaboration with Terry is um, a really fun one. I just love working with Terry and um, she has Sisterhood of the Traveling Brush so you want to make sure that you uh, check out her channel. I will definitely have the link um, in the description box and at the end screen uh, for her channel. But my project started out with a repair. As you heard us say, we're both doing vanities, only she's uh, doing one from an older vanity that's separated and mine's still together. So that repair was all about gluing and just clamping. So that was pretty, pretty easy. And, you know, I do a lot of tutorials on blending. So we're going to speed right through this tonight. Um, but I was also doing a live video. So I pulled some of this um, from the live video. But I'm demonstrating blending uh, paint and I chose colors that I think Terry used in her canvas. We didn't really discuss it too much but um, I chose Dixie Bell colors, Pure Ocean, Cobalt Blue, and Midnight Sky and then highlighted it with uh, Peony and Soft Pink, Mint Julep, uh, Kudzu I believe if not evergreen, um, and cotton. So I'm using um, one of Dixie Belle's big Bestang brushes. So another thing that I uh, showed on this video and telling you about here is that I used uh, gemstone mousse in golden gem on these handles. These were the original handles on this waterfall dresser. So I also mixed some clear wax with some of the mint julep paint. I like to sometimes make my own waxes and I'm doing that here. And I'll show you the other steps that I take um, on these, but it's just a little fun process that I like to do and it keeps for a long time. Kind of adds a little patina. So I used black gilding wax on top of the other wax and then I just rub it in to give it some age. And then I add some of my uh, mixture wax. And of course, if you are interested in Dixie Belle products, I always have my affiliate link in the description box. That means you order directly from Dixie Belle, but it, I get a little kickback from it, so it does help my small business. So I love the way this turns out. It's very subtle. See that? Just looks like a little bit of age on it. So here's the part where I get a little bit out of my comfort zone. Well, not so much the blending, although something weird happened while I was blending. So you'll notice on this piece, the only part that was painted white was the uh, drawers. So I'm painting over it. I had no idea what kind of paint they used, but 
I am doing my thing, but I'm using the sprayer bottle and whatever it was, it must have been water-based because it reactivated their white paint. So, you know, I went with it because in Terry's painting, there was a lot of white. So I thought, you know, this is a cool way to bring in that, uh, that element from Terry's painting. I didn't want to exactly imitate because Terry's very talented, so I didn't really think that I could. So mine's just kind of a loose interpretation. So I am, th this is the part that I get really nervous about. I'm not really comfortable uh, hand painting without any sort of pattern, but I'm going for it and um, doing it on a live video too. So, <laughs> um, but I just um, mixing, blending the colors right on the, uh, I'll call it a canvas, but I have both of the drawers pushed in um, and they will, that way the design covers the whole thing. But I'm using the peony and just kind of loosely making these circles for these roses. Remember I'm on a live video, so I look at the phone a lot to see if there's any uh, questions or comments that I can speak to while I'm doing that video. And I'm super excited because soon I'll be able to go live. Um, well, I do go live now um, every Tuesday night on Tuesday Talk, but um, I'll be able to go directly from my phone pretty soon once we hit a thousand subscribers. And we're getting there. We're at 850. So, um, if you haven't, please subscribe. <laughs> We're doing a giveaway when we get to a thousand. So I mixed some soft pink on the peony and now I'm taking some daisy in the center of the flowers. And that is a stylus. So it's just basically like kind of a metal ball on the, the tip of a, a brush handle. Uh, it's used for detail, so I just dip it into the midnight sky. I'm actually using the jar lid that's on top, and I'm just dipping it in and just putting some uh, little dots in the center of the flowers. So I'm referencing Terry's painting a little bit and just putting a little bit of the white on top of the flowers. And I tried to use that stylus for that as well, but I didn't care for it, so I grabbed a brush instead. Referencing Terry's painting, um, now I'm kind of going a little rogue and I'm adding some flowers just that make sense on my piece. And as you can see, I'm kind of jumping around, not doing everything all at once, but uh, now I'm working on uh, some more of the painting out the rest of the piece. As you can see, I did some little flowers on the back underneath where the mirror goes. This color is pure ocean. I just, I wouldn't have picked these pieces or these colors to mix on a piece of furniture. I'm so glad we did this. It was It's just freeing when you open your mind and I love it when someone else basically picks the colors for me. Um, it just kind of forces your mind to work in a different way and I love it. I love this challenge. I can't wait to see what Terry has done. The painting that I did, I um, that was based off a photograph that I saw one time and it just was stunning. It took my breath away. So I wanted to try and recreate that. It's really a representation of God's majesty. So I continue to mist a little bit just to get those colors to blend together. And when you mist, you want to use um, a continuous mist spray bottle. You don't want to use just like an old Windex bottle because that'll leave uh, water spots. 
So you do want to use a continuous mist spray bottle. And it's pretty easy to blend those colors because they're all in the same color family. They're all in the blue tones, so they really blend beautifully together. The midnight sky is kind of a blue black, so it's, uh, it blends beautifully with it as well. This piece of furniture was given to me by my friend Dawn. It was being uh, thrown out and she happened to be driving by when that was happening. She even got someone to help her load it onto the van and she was heading right to the shop. So that's, <laughs> that's what happened. That's how it arrived at the shop. <laughs> Someone's trash is someone else's treasure. And I think someone will treasure this after the makeover. more blending and um, I did a little patching and sanding so just general repairs um, now I'm going in with more wax and just waxing the piece so I can add a little bit of dark wax too I'm using a clear wax and the best dang brush Just see how adding wax makes those colors pop even more. It makes them so vibrant. So you just add the wax with your brush and then use a cloth and buff it in or wipe it back a little bit. I also add some Big Mama's Butter in Suzanne's garden to the inside. I'm always influenced by what I'm painting and since I was painting roses I decided to go with Suzanne's garden. I paint uh, the wax on the inside of the drawers and that reconditions them, makes them smell really good and then I also do the bottom of the drawer glides and that makes them just go in and out so much easier. Now I come in again with some black wax. I use the La Petite brush because it's a little bit pointy. Get my towel ready to wipe back. And this is my favorite part. We use the clear wax first and that allows the colored wax to just kind of float on there. The paint is a little chalky and if you don't add that wax first, then that porous surface is just gonna grab the black wax. Oh look, it's a brand new container. That's exciting. I'm using that La Petite brush, which is pointy. Just kind of taking the brush along the edges and kind of doing it heavily at times. But that's okay, because I also used, remember, black paint on this, so um, that's, that's good. We like this, <laughs> but we are going to wipe it back a little bit, but it just adds some more dimension to the piece. 
just kind of outlining those areas and then I come back with that paper towel and then just kind of wipe it back a little bit soften where the wax is Now I'm using some gilding wax in gold and I'm just using my fingertip and just going along some of those details to just highlight it and outline it and it just gives a little extra bling. It really complements the hardware. Then I take a touch of that green wax that I made, that mint. Um, and just going along some of those gold areas. That little piece in the center that was entirely missing the veneer certainly became a, a standout feature of this piece. Get ready, it's just about time for the big reveal. And there it is. I'm so thrilled to have done this collaboration with Terry. I would never have used this coloration if not for this challenge. Thanks, Terry. It's been fun, and I'll work with you anytime.
you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.